Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing just a chill, get ready with me. We're gonna play with some makeup. I have a drawer filled with makeup that I needed to try. So I pulled a lot of items from that drawer. A lot of them are going to be more affordable items. There are a few that are high end, but for the most part, I wanted to keep everything pretty affordable. But before we get into that, let's talk about the mirror that I'm using to get ready with me. I talked about this briefly on my Instagram story a few weeks back and I told you guys I would update you. And I'm so excited to say that today's video is actually in partnership with High Mirror. I spent the last five, almost six weeks testing this mirror out to make sure that it was going to be worth your guys' money because it really is a product like I've never seen before. So the one that I particularly have is called the High Mirror Slide. And the reason that it is called that is because you slide it out and then you have kind of your tablet, if you will. And there are so many cool features to this starting off you can turn your makeup light on just by pressing this button and then you have a really great light so that you can see yourself doing your makeup and you'll see on the menu here there is a lot of different apps that you can use everything from social media like Facebook YouTube of course Instagram you can stream music on Spotify and Pandora so the first one that is really awesome is this scan analyzer now I love the scan analyzer because it really takes you on a skincare journey and it works to help you improve your skin and to simplify your beauty routine. So when you click on the scan analyzer, it will literally scan your face and it analyzes eight different skin factors and it will tell you what you could improve on and what is good. What I think is really cool is it actually recommends skincare products based on what your skin analysis said. So for me, it says that my skin concerns are going to be fine lines and roughness and I got some dark circle action going on. They also have the beauty box and this one is what I'm really excited about This allows you to track your skincare and your beauty products and that way you can actually set a reminder to remind you when your product is about to expire and It has a really cool scanner So you press the little plus in the corner and then you press the barcode in the top right and you take your product You scan it and then you can fill in when the expiration date is and when you put the product in You can actually analyze your skin again and then over time you can see See how it is impacting your skin. In the recommendations tag, it'll recommend products based on your analysis results and the weather in your area. I definitely need to try out some of these products, okay? And then this one is my personal favorite feature. There is HiTube and YouTube. On HiTube, you can play a video and a lot of times I'll listen to podcasts on YouTube so you can actually minimize the video in HiTube and the audio will still be playing. And then YouTube, if you want to watch your video, full screen what is really awesome you can flip your mirror to landscape mode and you can watch the video in full screen you just lock the screen so it won't fall down and I love that personally I love having a taller mirror and then I love just having a lot more room on my makeup desk my desk is crazy always with brushes and products so this is one last thing I do not need to have my laptop on my desk I can watch my videos while doing my makeup and you can leave the light on the whole time as well I love the multitasking ability that I have while doing my makeup and also while not taking up a lot of space I love that I can track my skin progress and really focus on my skincare routine I will say this I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a tip unfortunately due to covid and obviously everything that's going on in the world high mirror has had to increase their price but little tip very kindly given to me from the brand on urban outfitters they are keeping it at the original price until it sells out so if you are interested in picking up this mirror do it now from urban outfitters that's the best deal that you're gonna have i don't know how much stock they have left so i don't know when that's going to be done but you can get 20 dollars off and free shipping on the high mirror website until december 27th so that is another route that you can go as well there will be a link for you to purchase in the description box if you are at all interested Guys, this is going to make such a cool gift. That is why I really wanted to work with High Mirror on this video because it's really, really cool. All right, anyways, let's get back into the video. So of 
course, I don't have any primer, foundation, or concealer for this video that is new. So we're just going to use some products that I've been liking that are more affordable. For primer, I am going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. I just have a baby size, but I really love the way that it moisturizes my dry skin. It feels really good on the skin, so it has been a favorite primer of mine recently. It is so good and it's so affordable. It is pretty hard to get a hold of this though because I feel like it is always sold out on the ColourPop website. I'm gonna quickly throw on my e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Okay, so this is a new product to me. It's not affordable. Like I said, most of the products would be, of course. But this is the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. So this honestly has been sitting in my drawer for a long time that needed to be tried. So I figured I would finally pull it out this video. I'm using a Kaleidos B1 brush. This is one of the new brushes that Kaleidos came out with. I'm just lightly going to set my under eyes and around the T-zone. I do have a cream blush that I plan on trying out today, so I don't want to put too much powder in that area. Huh, you know what? I was gonna say that that powder didn't seem like anything too special to me, but it actually looks very lightweight and blurring under my eyes. Obviously, I'm gonna have to continue to use that more, but I am quite impressed. Okay, so I have a few new brow products to mess with. So our Dell Beauty was nice enough to send me a nice box of a lot of their stuff. So I want to try the Ardell Beauty Artist Brow Fill-In Set. Now, I don't know if these are going to give a lot of coverage because sometimes these will give a lot of coverage and you don't need to use a pencil or anything, or sometimes they just kind of set the brow. So this says it will fill the brow. So I'm gonna use the shade light to medium. Here is what the spoolie looks like. If it doesn't really fill, I have a brow pencil from M Cosmetics that I haven't tried yet. Oh, ooh, that gives a lot of coverage. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm going to ham with it. Okay, so, oh geez, yeah. We're not gonna need a brow pencil. Oh no. Brow gels like this can get messy. You have to be very careful. So this gives a lot of coverage. Oh my goodness. And I am making, <sighs> holy guacamole. This is starting off really well. I'm not going to say this is a bad product. I just wasn't ready for it. That's the most full <laughs> I'm debating whether to take this off or to attempt salvaging this. This is the light color. That's what really has me concerned. Hold on. Let me try to fix this. Um, I'm going to take my foundation. I'm using an Anastasia brush and I'm going to try and shape the brows. I'm not gonna lie though, I definitely wore my eyebrows this dark like three years ago. When big bold brows and brow pomades were really in, I thought this looked good. <laughs> now that more natural fluffy looking brows are in, this ain't it, these are block brows. Hear me out. It's a lot darker than I would normally go, but I don't think this is a bad product if you're prepared for what is about to happen. I think that their colors are really, really dark though, because this is the lightest shade and this is not light. It's not the best look that my brows have had, but I think with a little bit of practice, this could be a really nice product. I really do. I mean, for a brow gel, that was a lot of coverage. Honestly, user error definitely Definitely happened there and my eyebrows I can't believe are about to look like this the whole video <laughs> but we're just we're gonna keep it moving okay I don't have time it is Sunday night I am trying to relax after filming this so we're just gonna pretend like they look okay all right 
This isn't a tutorial. This is me just trying products out. I'm not here to impress anybody. So now we're going to go into eyeshadow palettes. So I was in Target a couple weeks ago and I've been eyeing the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette for a long time. Now it came out this summer. This is not a new palette by any means. And I feel like everybody and their mama has done a video with this palette, but I wanted to try it too. I've been really curious about this e.l.f. palette. And I know I'm normally just a high-end luxury channel, but I do get down with some affordable makeup so I'm gonna start off with this cream shade and I'm going to apply that underneath my brow bone now we're gonna take Dijon right here we're gonna do a super simple look you guys nothing crazy so far so good I did the most basic colors but me like you so far. I feel like since my brows are so dark <laughs> and bold right now that we should go a little bit more bold with the makeup. So now we're gonna go into Fuego, which is this nice peachy coral color. I'm gonna put this as the blend out shade. So I'm blending out my original transition shade. I have this nice fun pop of orange now we're gonna do baja mar this is a really cool green shade okay this could like ruin my whole night let me get closer so you guys can see so it's a very light pastel -y shade so i'm being very careful just to build this up in the lower part of my crease so we have those transitions there already so i feel like if we're talking in terms of quality this is a little bit lighter on the skin than it looks in the pan. I'm not gonna fault it though, it's an affordable palette, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more depth in this color, or I don't know, it just doesn't look like it does in the pan. I don't want to over blend this shade because I feel like it would lose the opacity. Now we're gonna take some Royal. This is going in the outer V. We are getting some fallout even though I shook the brush off. It's okay, we will make it work. This Olimar detailed diffuser brush, by the way, it's amazing for this detailed crease work. No lie though, slow and steady wins the race, but how bomb is this eye look going? It's looking really awesome. Probably with this palette though, you might want to do your eyes first before you do the face. I like to live on the edge, but I think moving forward, I will not live so dangerously. Going to try and bring back some of that vibrancy of the green. Now we're going into a sip sip. Had to. I mean, ugh. this is really, really gorgeous and the shimmer is really nice quality. Wow, wow, wow. Whew, I'm loving this look. I wanted to do something cool with the purple underneath, but I'm just loving the blue and green tones together. So I'm just gonna carry the green underneath, take a touch of the navy underneath. This look is just gorgeous. I take a touch of Fuego as well, which is that coral shade that we use. I'm gonna bring the coral shade pretty low. Let's take some of Sea Salt as our inner corner color. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thoroughly impressed with this palette. Now, of course, it's going to take a little bit of extra work. Does it replace my Natasha Denona palettes? No. For the price, I really think this is a great way to incorporate some color into your collection. It does take a little bit of work. It does take a lot of building up. You're going to get a lot of fallout. Do your eyes first, but for what, the 15 bucks that I paid for this palette? Definitely worth it. Recommend this palette for sure if you're balling on a budget, because this look is stunning. Okay, let's move on. I have a liquid liner from Maybelline to test out. This is the Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This was very kindly gifted to me. I'm just gonna do a quick line on my upper lash line. It's a very long felt tip. I like felt tip liners. I think I prefer them over brush tips. Again, really impressed with this eyeliner. It is very, very black. It's very matte. It went over the shimmers great. The only thing is though, when you layer it on top, it definitely starts to feel a little bit thick. So I would suggest not layering as much as possible, but it's matte and that's really hard to achieve. So, so far, I really, really like this as well. I'm gonna go to contour after this product because I do have a cream product to try out. These aren't affordable, but I wanted to use them. I've been dying to and I don't have another blush. These are the Ciate Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tints. I've swatched 
touched this shade before so I want to go ahead and use this one look how cute the packaging is and it's literally a dewy Austin I don't know so this is in the shade coconut so it starts off looking like that it looks like it has a lot of pigment but from what I can tell so far is it blends out very sheer I'm gonna use this random morphe stipple brush pat this in so it is a really glossy effect though, from what I can see right now. This is the first time I'm applying it. So I don't know that I like that, honestly. Kinda looks like I'm putting lip gloss on my face, but you can see the color really sheared out and it does give you almost like a sweaty cheek look. I don't know, that might be something that you're into. You know what, if you're into super dewy, skin light, sweaty kind of look, and I mean sweaty in a good way, okay? Because some people like that look, like Samantha Ravindahl. She said it before, she likes to look sweaty. This is kind of what it's giving me. I don't think it's breaking up my foundation or anything, though I was careful to make sure I didn't get any powders underneath. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to set down. I think it's gonna be interesting to see how my powder contours go on after this, but I don't know that I like this product just because this isn't the vibe that I go for. I mean, it, it kind of looks like lip gloss on my cheek and I'm gonna see if it dries down at all because if my cheeks stay feeling like this, then I don't think I'll be the biggest fan of this. This is a look, honestly. It is, not much color, it really blends out. I don't think I'm a fan, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick powder contour. So I haven't got to use these yet, but Kaleidos came out with Prisma contour palettes, and I do believe that they are having their Black Friday sale early, so if you wanna get some of their stuff discounted, now's the time to do that. I'm gonna use the Cool and Light palette. So this looks really, really good. I'm also gonna use the Kaleidos C1 Angle Contour Brush and Transparency, they did send this to me and I've had it for like a month and I just haven't grabbed for it yet. So I'm using this Kaleidos brush and I'm using the really gray shade and I'm just going to quickly sculpt right in the crevices of my cheeks. And I don't wanna judge this too hard right now because I do have this weird glossy stuff on my cheeks. So if this looks a little patchy, the gloss on my cheek might be white. Now I'm going to use my Refer number five brush. I'm going to warm up the skin. Ooh, I really, I think I like this. I'm not sure yet, but the colors seem to be blending smoothly onto the skin. Not looking too patchy. It is giving me a really nice contoury kind of effect. Guys, my brows look really atrocious right now. I cannot. <laughs> I really cannot with my brows right now. They look crazy. I love filming these sit down videos because stuff always ends up looking weird. Um, okay, so so far I like this. It's not too pigmented. I like that they have different color ranges here. Really nice product. Actually, you know what? Let me go into the lightest shade right here. And I'm going to just brighten up down here. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. I really like this product. I recommend it. I don't know why it took me so long to finally use this. I think I just forgot about it in my drawer, but if you're looking for a good contour palette, something cool from a new indie brand, I really like that. That's good. And Highlight will also do some Kaleidos products. So they came out with a new highlighter. This is the Space Age Prophecy highlighter. Okay, look at this. I just need to show you the swatch, whether or not I use it. The colors in here are insane, and it's never gonna pick up on camera, of course, but it's like orange, green, and blue shifts in there. I don't think you can see the green and blue shifts, but they're in there. You know what, let me go ahead and use this today. I'm gonna use the H2 brush from Kaleidos, and I think with the glossiness of my blush, Oh, oh my god, that looks so not flattering, but it's amazing. You only need a little bit. This brush is a little bit too dense, so I'm picking up more than I would like. I mean, I'll be honest, when I turn and it's green, I don't know if you can see that, I look sick. Um, <laughs> but the orange is so, are you picking up, like, do you see when I turn like this, it kind of turns green, blue? It's not as cute, but 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool. If you have a deep complexion, I swear, deep complexions, these kind of highlighters look incredible on your skin tone and I'm so jealous. Okay, so that highlighter is so incredible. Not my style. Probably won't really ever wear it except to like a nightclub, which that also won't ever happen. But if you're cooler than me, you would wear that. Like, please, that is awesome. I'm quickly gonna throw on some random mascara and then we'll do a new pair of eyelashes. I got this cool PR package from Salon Perfect. I'll be honest, no idea how they got my address. Never have received anything from Salon Perfect before. But we're gonna try, let's try these lashes. These are the 680 lashes. They look very dramatic. Let's go for it. I'm gonna go off camera and do this because it's gonna take me like 20 minutes and then I'll be back. I figured we'd throw in a new setting spray since I haven't used this guy. This is also from Ciate and this is the Everyday Vacay Spray. Oh. Kind of a good miss, but if you get too close, then it kind of really smacks you. It's like, like right here is good, but literally move an inch forward and it smells bad. That kind of smells like an authentic coconut. It doesn't smell like artificial. I mean, it is artificial smelling, but it also kind of has a real natural coconut essence to it. Okay. For um, lips, I didn't necessarily have something new that I thought would look exceptional with this, but I did pick up a L'Oreal Color Reach Shine Lipstick in Sparkling Rose. I could be wrong, but I think Jessica Braun really likes these. Like, I know she liked some type of L'Oreal lipstick, but I couldn't remember what it was. So I picked this up. Wow, okay, that's a lot <laughs> lighter on me than I thought it was gonna be. I need a lip liner. You know what I could have used? Where is it? I also got the lip set that also came out with this e.l.f. palette. That would have been good. That definitely had something that would have looked good, but we're in too deep now. So this is just a nice, light, shiny lipstick. Kind of similar to the Fenty Lip Shines, but I think the Fenty Lip Shines are a little bit better, but you get the vibe with that. And then I'm going to use some Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Opal. So this was sent to me from a Maybelline PR box. I've been really liking these lip glosses. I've tried a couple other colors though. It's not the most long wearing. A lot of people have been comparing these to Fenty. I think the Fenty formula is a little bit thicker and stickier, so it lasts a bit longer than this one. This one just kind of disappears after a little bit, but nonetheless, I think it's a really nice gloss formula. All right, you guys, so that is the final look. This was me just playing around with all of these products. So I just want to talk about some of the standout products today that I think I'm going to recommend to you guys. We'll start off with the Ardell Artist Brow. Now, this stood out to me. I don't know if I would recommend it to you. I'm going to leave this on my desk to continue to play with this because I think I like it. This product has a lot of potential. It really glued my brows down and it really gives a lot of coverage, which I think a lot of you will like or dislike. It just kind of depends on your preferences. But this stood out to me. Maybe not in the best way, but I think I like it. Definitely we have a bit of a learning curve with that product. Okay, I think this was kind of the standout of the video, the Retro Paradise Palette from e.l.f. Like I said, you know, I did have to work with it. It wasn't amazing quality, but for the price that it is, I'm really impressed. The colors that I specifically used are very hard to formulate. So normally in a more affordable palette like this, you'll find that when you use these types of colors, they turn out to be duds. So if the neutrals are as good as the colors, I'm expecting the neutrals to be better than the colors just because by nature they should be, then I think this palette's really good. So obviously I have to continue to use this more, but of everything I used today, this was definitely the most exciting product to me. I'm gonna have to test wear time, but I think this Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner is really nice, really dark, really black. Like I said, try not to layer over too many times because it'll start to feel tight, but it's so black and pigmented on the first layer that you really don't need to go over it anyway. So I'm really liking the eyeliner and then this Kaleido Space Age Prophecy highlighter is just plain cool like I don't think I would necessarily use this as a highlighter like ever again that's a no but this needs to be all over my eyelid oh my gosh this is gonna look so cool all over the eyelid there's not a lot of colors out there like this on the market I don't think I have a single color that is like this so I'm so excited about that all right you guys so that is all I 
have for today's video. I definitely was just in the mood to sit down and play with some makeup that I've never tried before. So one big last final thank you to High Mirror for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys go check their site out. And if you aren't subscribed to me, I hope you guys would take the time to do so. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.